Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here are the um, Todd McFarlane uh, DC Multiverse uh, figures. Um, Green uh, Green Lantern, John Stewart. Um, so yeah, so here's the Multiverse logo there. Green Lantern, John Stewart. Same thing, same logo there. You get the McFarlane logo on the top right there, in blue. There we go. And then here's the back of Jon Stewart there, all armored up. And then here's all the other figures in a wave that have, it looks like the Batman, um, Mera, um, the Batman from Flashpoint, uh, Robin. Can't see that other dude there real well. And then that one. And then we get that side there. Nothing on top. Here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of package. So let's go over his accessories. So first we get this like little holder for him. So you get the little peg there and just put, uh, plug it into the peg holes on his foot. Make him stand well. And you also get the DC logo furnished there. And then you get this card here that comes with all the other figures. So here's that same picture that was from the box art here of Jon Stewart. And then here's the back with some information if you guys want to pause and read that you can. And then you get this like little backpack here. Uh, it's like transparent green, it kind of looks like. Yeah, and it's transparent. So you can kind of see the other side there. You get this peg here. Um, it goes in this back. I'll show you how to do that here. I like the sculpt of it a lot though. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, the sculpt is really clean. Um, but yeah, that's the little backpack there. And you get this like little machine gun here. I like this a lot it looks really cool so yeah you get one um handle here for him and then another one for him to keep it steady or to aim so yeah this looks pretty cool i like this a lot and then that's all we got for accessories here here is john stewart here so the head sculpt looks nice i like the head sculpt a lot the paint looks good you can get, see the eyes there nice green Nice haircut there, looks really cool. You get some chipping in there on the back of the head there. And then you get some lines here along the jawline. I don't know if it's just me, but the head color and the neck color looks a little different, slightly. In person, you can barely tell, but in, on the camera it looks different. Just wanted to point that out. But yeah, head sculpt looks real good, paint, Paint apps looks pretty good. Um, and then uh, here's a suit here. So this is a separate piece. So if you guys want to take this off, I think you can if you want. I think you gotta pop off the head to do that though. But yeah, here's what it looks like underneath here. So yeah, you get some lines for detailing underneath there anyways. And then this is his armor while he's using the, um, the ring. So I like the sculpt. You get that like Green Lantern symbol on the shoulders. And then you get the circle here, so you can show his actual symbol there. And you get some really nice sculpting here. And it's transparent green and soft plastic, so that's nice. And then here's what it looks like there for the shoulders underneath. Here's the back, you get a peg hole for that backpack there. And then you get some of the black detailing here. I like the, I like the detailing on the black piece of the suit here. Looks really cool. See, like, you get these really cool sculpts here along the thighs. The abs look really good. Here's the back for you. Legs. And then you get the green boots here, which look pretty nice. And then you get, like, the forearm piece here that kind of covers a little bit of his wrist there. So that's pretty cool. And then you get some knuckles, knuckle guards there. And then on his other hand, you see the ring. I cannot tell if they actually sculpted that with Green Lantern. I don't think so. I can barely tell. It looks like they might have tried to, but yeah. But I think the paint on this guy is pretty, pretty good. It's really clean. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, let's go over the articulation here. So the head has a ball joint, so it goes down. I don't know if you guys can see him. It goes down that far, up that far. You can look left and right. Uh, some head pivoting, which is nice. Shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees. 360 rotation there. He has butterfly joints here that goes back that way, and they also shift up and down. Uh, and then bicep swivel there. Double jointed elbows that go past 90 degrees. They could go past more. Um, and then you get these cool wrist joints here. So if you can maneuver it, so it goes up that far, down that far. And you got to maneuver it to go side to side if you want to there. And then you got a diaphragm joint for him. So he goes forward just that far, backwards just that far. And you also got hip joints, it looks like. Maybe I'm wrong. Whoa, that's kind of weird. Move. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay. I mean, that's I, that's not going to bother me a whole lot. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of people will get bothered by this. You also get that in the back there. Huh, I didn't notice that until just now. But yeah, only have a diaphragm joint at the... Here, at the diaphragm. Uh, legs kick, kick out just that far. Forward that far. Backwards just a little bit there. Double jointed knees. Ankles do the same thing as wrists do, so you can get them up, up that far, down that far, and you got to do the side to side there. And another thing that I totally forgot, the side to side thing for diaphragm and a 360 rotation around there, and then boom. And then for like the backpack and uh, machine gun there so you want to plug that in just like this i believe or is it supposed to be this way i think it's supposed to be this way oh just plug it in i think it's this way yeah there we go and then you just grab this guy here have him hold it like this i think oh come on grab it just grab it Okay, you are not wanting to grab it, okay. Give me a second. All right, off camera work. <laughs> I just realized I'm so dumb. This is supposed to be the hand that actually holds on to the trigger one, I think. See if that actually works well. Mm, not, I mean, it probably will work better. It's kind of hard to get, get him to hold it while doing it through camera. I'm going to do it off camera here again. There we go. Bam. Got him. There he is. Here's John Stewart for you with all the backpack and the back, I meant the backpack and the turret on him. Looks pretty good. Uh, the backpack kind of maneuvers the center there, so. If someone has like a little bit of OCD, like I do kind of, um, that will bother you just a little bit there. But yeah. Um, but I think this figure looks really cool. I like the looks a lot. Articulation could work a little bit more. Like the diaphragm joint for sure. And legs probably. And then the only thing that kind of, like I said, that will bother you. And then this like weird like flaps here on the hips here look kind of weird. But that's not going to bother me too much. I didn't notice it until I saw them and felt them. But the accessories look cool. The little mini guns, pretty, really cool. I like that a lot. But besides that, that's all I got for this figure. I recommend getting them, like I said. Uh, make sure you guys check out my Twitch, The Hunter Collector. Um, I'm doing live streams on Resident Evil Village. Uh, we got Crew 2. GTA and a few other games. Make sure you guys go check it out in the link in the description. And that's all I've got.